So check this out, I'm attaching the two right now. See that big slot right there, which makes sense. It goes over this tab here, but check this out. When you turn the tab, there's that pin. So effectively, when this is installed, the, the boat trailer can't actually move left and right. Now you think well, maybe this thing moves. Well, I mean, kind of, but that's also due to slop. So I suspect that you can just cut that off, but I'm not going to. That is just interesting, isn't it? This has not been in the water for 20 years. Let's see how disappointing it is. Yeah, it's leaning. I think the battery moved. Yeah, it's still pretty disappointing. There's both halves of the propeller. So I guess we'll print one. Don't get in the don't get your feet wet, man. Yes. 
steer two, or I can steer two-handed. I learned a thing. Good job. Sweet. I have a video. Now I have help. <laughs> try, try and make it come back. Turn more, turn more. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Keep going. Outstanding. <laughs> you did. Good job. Never go past. Never go past. It does go reverse. So what were your thoughts on the boat? Eh, not as entertaining as I hoped, but Mama. more than I thought. Mama. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Make this quick, because this car is loud. I have to admit I had a good time. Yes, I'm well aware that this brand definitely does not denote quality, but like I mentioned earlier, they usually hit it out of the ballpark when it comes to details, and, and this set is no different. They really are beautifully molded. So the question is, do you want one? Well, if you're a collector, chances are no. Yes, we have Tamiya collectors, we have Lozy collectors, Associated collectors, Tyco collectors, Nico collectors. Are there new bright collectors? Perhaps? Probably? Sure, why not? So maybe you're into new brights, no problem. I apologize for all the negativity I direct toward these vehicles. If you are into these cars, sure, go ahead, take a look for them, and perhaps you can get one in good shape. And that's key here you want to get one in good shape. I suspect that these wheels are a weird size and I don't know that you'll be able to get tires for them. Like a lot of mass production or toy grade RC cars, these wheels are pressed in place so they're not, it's not like you can just take the rim off and replace it, you're gonna have to do some modification. But I suspect here that this is not a pair of vehicles that a collector is gonna buy or someone that wants to drive these cars is gonna buy because face it, they're, they're not that great. Most likely you're gonna want, you're gonna find somebody that wants to get these to customize them. And I would have to say that that's probably a, a good idea. Here's the downside with that. 
these vehicles are very expensive. The truck by itself I've seen for sale as high as $500. Now that's this one. That's not the standard Lightning. Uh, perhaps that one's worth more or less, I don't know. But one of these in really good shape, 500 sounds too high, perhaps as high as 300. But that's a lot of money to spend to then cut the thing up. However, to get a body this detailed, it really isn't. Now, to buy the pair of these, there's a couple on eBay right now, one as low as 600 and one as high as 1,000. And both are not as clean as these. One of them, the boat's all yellow and the truck's missing some parts. So again, maybe this is wishful thinking, but the fact of the matter is that these don't seem to be inexpensive. On top of that, even if you get your hands on one of these cheap, they're huge. So now you have to ship these. So shipping is going to be very, very costly. Someone that owns a Ford Lightning probably wants this. Somebody that owns one of these sea probably wants that. But that's really about it. And anybody that's going to do customization to one of these, it's, it's going to require a lot of work. So with that said, what you've got here are probably my favorite new brights that have ever been on this channel. Uh, there's quite a few variations of this. Perhaps you don't like the Lightning. Take a look at for the, uh, there's a new Beetle. There is also a PT Cruiser. I want to say there's something else in there too, but um, yeah, these are circa early 2000s. I hope you found this video informative. Again, these aren't particularly common and it was a lot of fun to play with the boat. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon.